Aqua here again, welcome back to Resident Raz. This is the second episode for today because I didn't feel like I'd done much in that first episode. But before I knew it, it was like 35 minutes long, so I had to kind of finish it off. Now, I've just reached, I've just come back on and all my animals have disappeared. My cows and my sheep, so I've just been in caught some more for the lasso. Well, no idea what's going on there. This is what the Ender Lily looks like. Now, when I right click that, nothing happened. What if I shift? No. Uh, shift right click? No. So right clicking doesn't seem to do anything, left clicking breaks it. Hmm. When it broke it last time it gave me an ender pearl and the ender and the seed back, but this time it didn't give me an ender pearl. What if I did something wrong there? Probably probably did something wrong. Now I've done a little bit of work off camera. I've set up a little ME network. It's pretty basic. It's a controller, a chest, an ME drive. And a terminal, that's all I've got in there. And I've got one 16k storage unit. And I've just tried I've tried tried turning that off in the because uh, if you've watched any of mine before, I, pref I don't like that being on. I prefer to have to click in there to search. But, um I've tried changing it on the config of both the client and the server and it keeps reverting back to auto search. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I make, I need to make some facade, so I need to get some build crap power on the go. But I've moved all this around a little bit. I've made a couple of extra Hydrogen generators. So these are all rocking full. So there's one electrolytic separator under there that's dumping oxygen and providing hydrogen to these three. And then there's another one electrolytic separator under there that's just providing oxygen to this. So that's how I've got that set up going. I've got a precision export bus on there with nothing in it yet. And a precision import bus there. Set to move single items, that's quick enough. And these now have all got turn that off. These have all got eight speed upgrades. So the current lot more speed. I'm actually gonna make some of the energy upgrades for them as well. So let's have a quick look at them. Ah, mech. Um energy upgrades. So that's glowstone. So I'm gonna need 32. I need 64 glowstone. Oops, in there now aren't they of course. 16 of them, so I need to make some more of them. So that was I'm getting a bit low on iron I believe. Uh, is that what I make them? It is. I'm going to make two stacks of that stuff. And I'm going to convert one stack of it into these guys. Um, and I have to go get some glowstone. I haven't got much glowstone yet. Now, as you can see here, I have run power, universal cable, and an ME cable right across to where the spawners are. So there's cable running under here. Now, I was going to do this a little bit different. I was, I was thinking of doing an Ender I.O. and I went into a test well just to have a little play of Ender I.O. and I made an ME network. And I tried powering it off a built off an MFR bioreactor, something that I know that I've used before. And the bioreactor, if you've used one in previous versions, it'll only allow. How can I explain this? There's an area at the top and an area at the bottom where it works. So you have nine slots in the bottom. And it'll only have one stack of each individual different item in the top. Well, that doesn't seem to work in. So it was letting, it was just filling all nine slots up with one thing. So I need a way of like an, an old red power um, regulator. So I need to have a little bit of a reset, see what I can use for that. So I, I'm not actually going to use that just now. No, I don't need to get some build crap power on the go. It's something I've not got and something that I need, even if it's just to make lasers. But so I think I'm going to make a tree farm. It's the easiest way to get things going in it. I was tempted to make a forest tree tree farm. I cut that forest tree down, by the way, the other day. Um, I'm going to make a Steve's cat tree farm, possibly, in the middle of the year, but for a forest tree farm to use to make liquid force. But well, I'm not fully decided yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these two soul shards going. Now, I said in that last episode that the soul shards stayed in my inventory. I've also tested that, and it seems like they do, so... It seems that like these stay in your inventory, so I don't know if that means you can have more than one set up. Um, you could maybe have like 10. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. So what do I need from in here? I need... Oh, it's back up there, I think. What I need is a couple of ME interfaces. There we go. And see that search thing gets me every time. I try pressing E to much to close it and it doesn't work. So, 
power goes underneath there, universal cable, and then SME cable running all the way along here. I've got myself stuck in a little hole. Um, yay, jump spell. Whee! Oops. It's gonna hit. So, ME interface. And an ME interface. So that's gonna get me the products that drop. So now, it should be just a case of going in here. So this is still all dark. As you can see if you press F7, dark all the time. And so that's got a thing in it. Like I said, it looks a bit weird, but if I put light on it, it disappears. Very strange. Anyway, here it goes. So I'm going to put Enderman in here. There we go. We've got an Enderman, and the ground that killed it. So. If you remember in previous versions of Soul Shards, you did have this room would have maybe 10 or so in it already. These days it's very slow, but it's all good. So I'm not sure if they only spawn when I'm nearby as well. That's something else I need to keep an eye on. And then this one. You see, look, I've still got the Enderman Soul Shard in my inventory. So in theory, I could put another one. Now, this one is going to. There we go. Is that with a skeleton or Enderman? Let's have a look. Um, so, the two spare ones that I had, I used to use them both to make the cages. Because the two of the cages I used got destroyed for some reason. So, we could hear Enderman dying. Oh, oh okay. Um, <clears throat> it's certainly. That certainly works, and that's withers. So we've got wither skeletons, so let's have a quick look, see if we've got anything in here. And got nothing as yet. This is connected. Ah, god damn it. This is, oh, this isn't connected. That's not that's gonna help, in it? So let's connect that. And we've got nothing yet, but eventually we're gonna get ender pearls. Coal, bones, possibly with the skulls, not sure. Don't, don't know if anything's changed with that. But, um, there we go. Right, so the next thing I want to do is this mod pack has got in extra cells. Well, extra cells that you do, that you make fluid storage in your ME system, which is, which is really awesome. Now, that's just quartz glass. I'm going to have to get all my stuff across here at some point. So I'm kind of straddled across two bases at the minute, which isn't ideal. Or two rooms. I keep having to run down here to grab stuff. Let's grab some of the stuff I may need. Um, I can leave the other stuff up there for now, down here for now. Eh, that'll do for now. I might need them. So let's run up with some of that stuff. I've got to be careful not to go over 63 different types of material in here. I've only got one storage cell in there at the minute. I should make the crafting terminal as well. I never do. Always should and never actually do. So what I'm going to do then is... So I'll make one of these then. First of all, a fluid storage cell. So let's have a look at one of them. So that's that guy. And that uses fluid crystals and fluid dust. The fluid crystals are what we use to make the controller thing. So you don't need, in previous versions that's all you've used them for. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And my inventory is a terrible mess. Let me, let me sort this out. Um in fact you can go in there. You can go in there. As can you um, they can go in there as well. And I don't know why I've got that with me. And that can go in there. There we go. I'll tie this up there. That's going to really get on get my nerves. The uh, fact that that was an auto shut. Four of them. What was in the middle? 
a diamond processor. So I made as many of these as I could afford. I made eight diamond ones and 40, um, 56 of the gold ones, which let me make a few things. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, so next, that lets us make a fluid storage cell. Awesome. And then we need to put that in amongst this stuff. So already I need to make I'm getting really low on stuff. Um Yeah, I've got no Satus dust. So I'm getting really low on Satus stuff now, look really low. Uh, I'm gonna go mine a little bit of that. I'll be back in a bit when I've mined a couple of handfuls of that, just so I've got enough to make this. And what we're going to be able to do with this is, in our ME network, if we look inside here, now there won't be much of this, I don't think. If we look in here, there we go, look, we've got some mob essence. So this is going to be able to store the mob essence in the ME network, which is pretty awesome. So we've got a bit of mob essence in there. And we've got some in there, so this is killing stuff as well. There's definitely killing going on. Hello, guy. And uh, let's have a quick check if we've got anything in here yet. And we've got two shitty swords, so I need to deal with getting rid of them. We've got 15 enderpels, that's alright. Got no coal. Oh, I've got a necrotic bone. Got no coal yet. We've got a normal bone and necrotic bone. A couple of shitty swords. And 15 enderpels. There we go, we're getting stuff. Unless that's enderpels I brought from across there. Which I didn't keep an eye on. Probably is. So I maybe had about ten from over there. So maybe three or four enderpels. Certainly some. Great. Right, I'm gonna go mine some quartz, uh, some status quartz. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I am a massive noob in so many ways. Um, if you look at this here, there's this thing here that I totally missed. Um, Auto search is how it's set by default. I prefer standard search where you have to click. This is the thing I've been changing the config that kept resetting itself. It's resetting because it's now in there. It's also got this nifty thing that um, if you go to any I synchronize, either auto or standard, and if you type in like act mechanism, for example, it'll filter down with that. The problem with that though, it's good and it's bad. The problem is it'll reset this every time. Son of a bitch didn't reset it. Oh look, it's resetting now. So if you go in there, at mech, come out, it keeps it. But if, you've, if you're looking at something and then you went into there, grabbed something and came back out, it'll reset it. So, so personally, I'm going to stick it to the standard search, which is how I like it. Looking at our mob drops, hmm, not had any more ender pearls. That's odd. I should take them out and see if we get any. But if you look, I'm sure I've got a bit of coal, but I've put brought my coal from across the other side as well. We've got loads of necrotic bones. We've got three wither skeletons, a couple of miniature red hearts, and 123 bones. So we're definitely getting stuff from the wither skeletons and swords. Now this is a problem, I need to get rid of these swords. So for these, I've made this thing, fuzzy storage bus. I'm fairly sure it's a fuzzy one that I wanted. So I'll just move my wire in there slightly. And if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down there, Like so. And what I want this to be is input output uh, extracts only except it's only a listed items, that's good. Fuzzy comparison match any. So I think that's what I want that as. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put try to a chest just first. So, if we put that sword back in there, in fact, I might have to take all these out first because they're already in a storage cell. You should have put all three of them in there, and it has luck. Now, they were stacked anyway because I think they've got the same damage value, but we'll get some more that aren't stacked that aren't got the same damage value. They should go in there, and what I'm going to put in there is I'm going to put a trash can for extra utilities. So, them swords. Should have vanished out of the system. And they have. That's all like a meteorite, isn't it? If that's what we found the other day. So I'll go have a quick look at that. Hmm, yeah, not getting any enderpearls. That is odd. 
So I'll go and make sure everything is correct with that. Oh, look at that. There we go. Eh. Moonstone. Thank you very much. Ah. <laughs> ah. How cute was that? Little ender tot. Just blowing up. Blowing a little party popper. Because he's not, eh. Uh, fully ready to explode yet. But otherwise, they won't grow, would they? So. I can't explode when they're little. That's awesome. <laughs> um, now, uh, another thing that, just before I get back to this water thing, another thing that people have kindly told me, Teddy and uh, Stuart, and possibly someone else, I think it was Stuart, I hope it was Stuart. I should have checked, I really should have checked. My problem was, this was the first little one, and I was trying to like different directions. You've got to go in the, or if you've got to go in a straight line from the first little one. So, I was trying to light through that one, which is why it won't work in. So as you can see now, I've blocked, moved things into the right place, blocked it round, and I've got my deconstruction table, which I shall make later on. So that's the first thing I'm actually going to make. And this is kind of cool, it kind of... Oh, look at that. I found a node. I went and got some sand from... Up there, had a little bit, I've had a bit of a run up there, look. Um, oh, look that is. That was cool, didn't it? Big crater. And there was a node there, it was a pure node with Aqua Invictus and it gave me Sano. It said I've discovered Sano when I looked at it. There was one in there with Ordo and Aqua out in the middle of the water. I swam back this way. So I've got quite a few nodes to look at. Uh, so I discovered Sano, so it's, it's added something to there, it seems. Oh, that must be how that works. Well, it is, that, that's, that is how that works. Uh, so, what the fuck? No, I'll, I'll get, carry on with the water thing. I don't want to get sidetracked. I don't want to get sidetracked. Not that I don't always get sidetracked anyway. I was curious how the enderpearls are going up. Aha! It's gone up. Awesome. Okay, so next thing then. Let's go back to our extra cells. Our extra cells. And so we've got our fluid storage cell. We now want three of these ME Satis tanks. Let's craft some of them. So that's a simple bit of ME cable and some. I'll just crush some more nether quartz. I knew I was going to need it. And hopefully this will be enough. Uh, six. Give me 24. That might be enough. We'll see. And I've made some glass because I needed glass as well. So that gets us. Quartz glass. Now this has got no texture at the minute when it's in your inventory. I don't know if it works like it's if it's placed. All right. So I think <laughs> I might have heard Bebo saying that he liked that, and it's just because there was no texture. It might have been Bebo. Um, someone saying that they like that funky pattern, and it's just because the texture is kind of a bit wonky at the minute. So that gives us some quartz glass. And we need quartz glass and ME cable. One, two, three of. So. Get us three of them Satis tanks. And the other thing we need is some Fluix. One, two, three Fluix. Three of them. Our storage cell. And what am I missing? Oh, two bits of glass. There we go. Right, it says a 1k fluid storage. Wonderful. Now, that can go in there. So now we've got fluid storage in our thing, in our ME network. I'm also going to need an access terminal, which means I need more of that glass. And I need another access terminal. So I've got a few little things to make. I need a ME fluid import bus. So I'll make one of them. So it's just a precision import bus with this extra stuff around it. And I need a ME fluid access terminal. So that's an access terminal with a certus tank, some extra iron. And a covered cable. Cable's just covered cable's just cable with a bit of wool. So I'll get these bits made and I'll come back and we'll put them together and then we'll be able to have a look at we should be able to see some mob essence in here. So back in a bit. And there we are back again. I've got a few things made and um Miles will just let me know on a comment on YouTube that these are actually exactly the same as vanilla spawners, which means they only spawn when there's a play within sixteen blocks. So unfortunately, it looks like I'm getting more Stuff from the withers. 
because that's maybe in 16 blocks more often. And that one's maybe just a little bit further out. So I am probably going to have to move these off camera right underneath my working area, I think. Seems like the safest, the most sensible place to put them. If you want to keep them on, that is, and get a stock of stuff. So I have to move them under there. I've made a couple of things. I've made the fluid access terminal. A boosh, that goes there. So now we've got a normal access terminal and we've got our fluid access terminal. Of course, there's nothing in it yet. And I made a couple of these fluid import buses. So this will at least save me on, if I don't move them across the air, my little prison cells, it'll save me on a bit of a ME cable, if nothing else. So what I want to do here is, is I want to brick that there. I actually want to swap this wrong, because I want that. I'd rather have that there to block all the light out. And what I want to here is, that is connecting to there. And what I want is my fluid import bus. So at the minute there's... That is actually full. Hmm. Put that on there. And we'll see how empty this one is in comparison. Yeah, look. So I'm not, I'm not in range enough for this. So this will be all getting changed off camera. I won't do it on camera because... There's no need to do it on camera. Um, so actually I want this one to be slightly different, don't I? I want it to be... There and then a bit of dirt. Let me out. Thank you. We'll put that on the back of there. And if we look in there now, is that going to be empty? I can actually see. Let's keep clicking the bus. So the bus takes a full sad. Never mind. We'll uh, go check in the tank in the access terminal, should I say? So yeah, and look, there we look, we've got, we're carrying 6.4 buckets of mob essence, not all. So it looks like the thing carries, I think, does it carry four buckets worth? Let's have a look, um, let's try this one. May as well make this one spawn a bit while we study it. So if you look in that, not actually say, but I think that carries four buckets worth when it's full. So we've got six and a half buckets worth of ish of mob essence, which we could then use. We could use a ME X, uh, export bus to pump it into somewhere else. And speaking of pumping stuff, I've met some of these guys. I've seen Kieran Dave using these on his video. Really cool. I'll, I had a few buckets worth of force, which. I'd rather have the buckets for I had about six, seven buckets worth of force. So I banged them in there. And this is a tank from Open Blocks. Look at that. Four obsidian, five bits of glass. You get two. And they're just modular, so you can just. So not, that's now a big tank. So you can just make the tank as big as you want. Each block holds 16 buckets worth of liquid. How's this going to work then? So it's split it in half. So it must have been six then. So I have three in there. Let me, um, in fact, let me do this. Put that there. Ha <laughs> that. Break that, and that should have six buckets worth in. And it has, look, 38% six buckets. I've just been down to the bottom of the world. I was to get some obsidian, and I got some lava while I was down there. And I, got, and I, filled six, I put 16 buckets worth in there as well. So I've got 16 buckets of lava that I can use. So I can just... Look there, and I've got four more of these blocks. Very useful, very useful. And what I wanted to allow I thought is I wanted to show you something from Blood Magic for the rest of this video. So I'm going to put them in there. Out of the way. Oh, you may have noticed, I've got a portal gun. It was from a Darkcraft um, loot bag. You know, the little loot satchels you get from killing stuff. Uh, yeah, one of them dropped me a portal gun, which is kind of nice. So I can get between my two areas a bit quicker, even though I keep forgetting to use it. But well, there we go. I've uh, just got it so I can jump up and down. In out of here now. Right, so I'll have a quick look at this blood magic then. Now, I started this on the last one. Like I said, I didn't really know what I was doing, but you, you start off by building a blood altar. It uses the diamond furnace and stuff. And then you throw a diamond in there, and you need to cut yourself with your knife. Where, where is my knife? I was trying to pick the knife out of there for. I'm trying to pick the knife out of there, and I picked the wrong thing. They look like the old E2 Dark Matter weapons, which look awesome. So, with your sacrificial blade, yourself a bit of a stabbing 
and it adds blood into there and it puts blood into your blood magic into your magic orb yep weak blood orb and then with this we can use this in for recipes so the only thing i made with it on the stream was i made this guy divination sigil peer into the soul to get the current essence so that's what you saw me use in, in the earlier video so if i look in that i can see that i've currently got five thousand life points stored in there which is the maximum for it we can also use this in other stuff and now one of the first things you could use this for now i made this alchemical chemistry set on the live stream yesterday just for the sake of making it i got a clue what it's for at the minute i made one anyway uh, what i should have made is one of these guys lava crystal which is why i've got some buckets of lava in my inventory one two three i need some obsidian should have got this before I start recording again. And I need a diamond, which is go that way, full. Uh, diamond, which is in here. And what else was it? Was it some glass? Yes, a bit of glass. So if we put all this together. So our blood orb goes at the bottom, does it? No, it goes in the middle. Diamond at the bottom. Obsidian, obsidian. Glass, glass. Now, that lets me make a lava crystal. And it, it doesn't actually take your blood orb. But you need one in there to make it. Now what I can do with this? This is kind of funky. Check this out. Uh, let's go back over here. Now, if you look at my sigil, my life essence is still 5,000. I haven't used any. But, if now, if I was to use this lava crystal, I'll put it in a furnace there. Let's have another furnace. And let's get some raw meat. And it's not worked. Have I done it wrong? So life to smelt stuff in the furnace. I think I've done it wrong. <laughs> ah, kid noob. Do we have to put life into that? I wonder if I have to put that into there. So many things to learn, so many things going wrong. Tell you what, I'll cut the camera out, I'll have a quick check what I've done wrong here. I'll be back in a sec. Uh, well, I don't really know what I did. I put it in the altar, brought it back, and right clicked, and it started cooking stuff, but it didn't go in until I clicked it again. I put it in there. Uh, let's see what my life what's happened to my life points. Well, there you go, look, you see my life points are going down. So it's took, it looks like it's taken 100 life points for my activation. So it's just activated again, so is that taken more? So look. 4875, so I've done something wrong the first time. So it's taken life points out of this. So well, there you go, instead of using coal, you can use your blood to uh, cook things up. Which is kind of cool. And that's just one of the first things you can do with this. Now there's all kind of other stuff we can do with it. And there's kind of there's all kind of upgrades we can make for the actual altar itself. We can upgrade the speed and the efficiency and the altar to t higher tiers and the orb up to higher tiers and things like that. But I just wanted to show you, rather than just randomly babble and get it all wrong like I did earlier, I've kind of done exactly the same. But I've shown you something in motion. I've shown you uh, how to use it to cook stuff. So let's. I haven't actually got any cobble, have I? I've got 44. Let's pick some smooth stone with that. There we go, and you'll see it's gradually taken my essence for 4750. So you've got to be careful, you've got to make sure you top your essence back up. Is that what I do with that? Cheaty heal spell. So, is that all I have to do, or do I have to put the sigil back in there? Looks like uh, the weak orb, I mean. Does that go back in there? So that's possibly filling that back up. Yep, there you go. So that's using the blood that's in the altar to fill it back up. So it's back at 5k again. So has this stopped or is this still going? That's still going. And I presume that's going to keep filling up as it needs to. 
using the plug that's in there. Awesome. There we go. So I right, see it there. There's a little, there's a little graphic there showing you that. Yeah. Have a little activation again. So I'm going to make some more of these blank slits. Infuse stone inside of a blood alley. Got some stone. Let's uh, let's take the stone that I've got in there. We'll use a bit of that. Let's get rid of that. And put a bit of stone in there. I think it only accepts one at a time. As far as I know. So that takes a bit of time. There we go. Some of the things you can do speed it up. And we will already add one of them. So to make this blood rune. Blood rune. So six. Gets me a blood rune. And I believe these guys. Hmm. Ritual stone. Blood rune. Yeah, I believe these guys, you make a few of them. And you place these box around there. And it increases the uh increases something to do with your thing there. Look at that. I'm just full of full of information, aren't I? Right, I'm gonna cut the camera out and I'll see how long the video is. Uh I shall be back in a bit. Okay then I'm back. I've been talking crap for over thirty minutes, so I'm gonna wrap up in just a second. I made the rest of them runes around the edge of there. And I watched a bit of a video from the Diamond Man Cat on uh, a mod spotlight on it. And once you've got the runes on there, you can do the next level. This is a emerald rather than a diamond I threw in there. And that was in there for 30 seconds or so. And it popped into this thing, which I've not taken out yet. I just made a force rod as well because I made two axes instead of an axe and a pickaxe. So I made a quick force rod to make, break one of them back down in ingots just because. I didn't like wasting an axe for no reason. So, Apprentice Blood Orb. So now, if I right click that, that bans it to me. So, see it's got the owner on there. So it's Raw Life Essence. So if we look at our level now, is it still the same? 5200. So do I have to put that in there? Just start filling it up. I do. And this guy owes a lot more. I think it's 15,000 or something like that. So while that's working away. Now if this blood runs out while that's happening. This little red graphic will turn grey and you'll lose some progress. So you need to kind of keep an eye on it. If you don't want your blood running out while it's in there. Uh, let's just swap that for that for a second. So it's up to 8,300. I'll put a bit more blood in there. And uh, get myself back up. While we're doing that, I just quickly put got the stuff together. But in an arcane wave table, that's the same as it always was. You make one of these tables and then you wave your wand at it. And that turns the normal table into the arcane wave table. Then made another arcane wave table. A, a golden axe and a golden pickaxe. Yeah, I made two golden pickaxes by mistake. And your thermometer goes in there as well. And this is going to take 22... Uh, Permutatio, that's still going. Looks okay, I'll keep my eye on that. And when I looked in there, I thought it said 20, so does that mean I've got some kind of negative effort? It says 20 there, look. So there must be something causing that to be 22. Is it because I've got armor on, maybe? No. Then I guess if I was wearing. Oh, I know why, because that's got 110% V cost, because this is a cheap wand. So. Oh, look, it's run out. Damn it. Um, and I missed the graphic of it running out as well. Flood. So what are we up to? 15,370. Does it go to 25 or is it because I've got this as well still? So this of course, as you can, as you, I'm sure you can guess, Gives me the ability to do high level stuff. Um, I say I watched Kerry and Dave playing with it earlier, but I was kind of playing while I was watching. So I don't think I paid enough attention because I clearly still don't know what I'm doing. 
Uh, I've looked at the thing that this can go into. Refresh you, it goes into Void Sigil, which I believe if you had lava pouring all over the floor, you could just pick it up with that and it'll just make it disappear. You've got an Air Sigil. Sigil of the Fast Mana. Rune of Sacrifice. Rune of Self Sacrifice. Ritual Stones. Sigil of the Green Grove. And a Spell Table. So that's all the things you can make with this one. So that's the next tier of things. Oh, son of a bitch. Really got to keep an eye on this, eh? So we're up to. Okay, so it's maybe 25k it goes up to then. So I want to put a whole lot of blood in this table. Before I did this, I could have made the upgrades. These things, speed runes. I could have done this once I had the runes around the table, I think. Um, the speed runes and the deficiency runes. One of them makes this process quicker and I think one of them uses less of less blood so crack on with it so we're nearly there if it is 25k oh it stopped look so it stopped and there's 25k so I've got 25k blood stored now I guess I can put that one in there and uh, I'll carry this one wrong with me and I'll I, actually, I promise I'll learn a bit more about this, so I know a bit more what I'm doing. And let's just finish the episode. Put all that back on. Oh, I, I enchanted the pants and it was pretty shit, to be honest. Fire protection 3 and 4 is 2, not ideal. Nowhere near, that's probably the best I'm going to get as an enchant, I reckon. Um, oh, never mind. So let's make this in. So yeah, that costs 22 because this is a cheap wand. And I guess I need to... Um, Research better one caps, make a better one. So let's make that thing. Deconstruction table. What this thing does is, well, my cold one's going to go there. This is sort of squashed in. Yeah, fuck it, I'll put it there for now. Ah. Oops. I've got one point to spend. Uh, so that has a thermometer uh, built into it. Cool. So if I put stuff in there, I believe I can break things down. What happened to that then? Did I gain something? I really should read stuff, shouldn't I? Um, comes a point, blah blah blah, break down objects into their simplest parts. For example, cobblestone, saxum, and pedito will be simplified into two terra and one pedito, only one of which will have a chance of being discovered. Fairly slow, and the fewer aspects the object has, the lower chance of discovering something. So if we look at, let's get one more bit of cobble. I guess I can do this with more enhanced stuff. So we'll add it to this. We've got one Pedito in there. And we've got one Terra. Will this, click on the wrong thing. Will this put that up at all? One Pedito. One terror still, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I'll have a look at that and work out how that works off camera as well. But for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching the second episode for the day. I'll be back with an unhinged episode tomorrow. And uh, I hope you have a join me for that. I'll join me for the next episode in this series. I upgraded that to a tool forge, by the way. That's uh, the high level one tool forge. Because I was going to do some digging earlier. Um, there we go, four blocks of iron, three seed bricks, makes it into a tool forge. That lets you make the higher level stuff, such as hammers and stuff. I was doing a lot of digging, so I was going to make a excavator. So I've got the I've got the plates there, but not made anything with it yet. Okay then, thank you very much for watching as always. I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Okay then, I'm back again, just for a little bit. Uh, I was about to go, but I noticed that in my chat, if I click on that, there you go, it tells me that the... Alter is currently tier 2 and it's got 2,000 life points in it and if I was to break one of these runes and then look at it again shows you it's reverted to tier 1 so these runes are required to make it a tier 2 I didn't, I didn't put them there for decoration there we go and the other thing uh, I threw a stack of dirt into this see if anything happened I've clicked on that wrong thing again I've spent my point that I had I spent it on uh, slow fall so I can make a leap with slow fall spell now I think now I'm level 20 the next level I believe I start getting 
different colour points into that thing. I start getting green or red, I think. I think to get more blues now, I need to kill water elemental. Well, no, I, need to, I need to kill things or trade with villagers. Maybe water elementals, I'm not sure. Well, I think that's how I get points from now on. Bosses, possibly. So, this thing, I put a stack of dirt in it, see what happens. And this is the second one of these I've got. So, after a while, I've got one. So, if you look in there, you'll see that I've got one next to my terror there. And if I was to go in there and click on that, there should be two terror there now. And there is, look. So, you can get stuff that way by just chucking junk into that. God damn thing. I chuck a junk into there. So uh, that's kind of all that works. So I'm just putting some useless shit in there for now. And I, I guess I can put better things in there to try and find different aspects. Wonderful. Okay then, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.